channel today i am doing a story time video about the creepy guy in san francisco so as you might know i've lived in san francisco for almost two years from after i think about it 2012 to 2014 and nothing to not really anything well some creepy things happened but that will be in my book that i'm writing but this one i can actually tell you right now so um yeah so i never really had anything really creepy happening to me at night time but i had creepy things happening to me at daytime so um this particular story is uh i was gonna go i was gonna go on a date with this guy say what this is not what the story is about but anyway i was gonna go on a date with this guy um so we're meeting uh, at the cheesecake factory at macy's downtown so i took a bus and like i was just sitting there by myself and there was like a guy sitting there like kind of across from me some kind of mental health problem or drugs because he was like talking to himself uh so i didn't really take pay, pay too much attention about about it because there's a lot of people like that in san francisco so <laughs> So yeah, I was just like minding my own business and then I got off the bus and this guy got off the bus too and he was like standing next to me and he kept like yelling at me that I think he thought I was his ex-girlfriend. He was like, oh yeah, you know, you're my ex-girlfriend and I want you back and I was like, oh my god, I don't know this guy. <laughs> so he kept like yelling at me and then like across the street and he was following me. So this guy, he kept following me and at the point I was like, I, I don't know how to get rid of this guy. So I walked into Macy's and in the meantime, I was like texting this guy I was supposed to go on a date with, but he was not responding. So I walk into Macy's and this guy is still there. So I was kind of freaked out by this because I had a similar experience like this when I lived in Townsville. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was kind of a little bit freaked out, especially because the guy seemed to have some kind of mental health issue or like he was not all there. So I don't know what he was going to do. At least it was the middle of the day, so that made it a little bit less scary because there was a lot of people around. But people were just watching, like no one was like saying anything. So I walked into Macy's and if you walk in, there's like, I, I walked into like the beauty department. So there's like the perfumes and stuff. And there was like all these salespeople, I guess, standing there. So there was this one guy, sales guy there. So I walk up to him and I'm like, yeah. This guy behind me is following me and I don't know him and I keep saying I'm his ex-girlfriend So thankfully that guy got me a security guy So the security guy came over and he told me to follow him So I followed the security guy like all the way into the store still this creep is following me And we walk into like this little back Back alley room thingy So we walk into like this door and this guy is still following me And at this point we're not even in the store anymore like we're at some like little hallway going to the offices so this security guy takes me into this little hallway puts me into one of the offices and stands in the doorway while this creepy guy is still like standing there yelling at me <laughs> and i was like oh my god so basically the security guy told him to leave and if he wouldn't leave he was gonna call the police so then he left and that was it i never saw him again <laughs> Did you wonder? Well, that didn't work out. The guy was two hours late. I left. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you have any creepy stories or if you want to hear more creepy stories, let me know down in the comments. I kept this kind of short because I didn't want to make it too long. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, um, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, just keep in touch and I'll see you next time. Bye!